Sanchez, I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment. When we hit our Kawasaki 65Z wheel loader, this is a tool carrier machine. They call it a tool carrier, but it's actually just a quick coupler, forks in a bucket. Now we're selling the forks separately, so um, if you want the forks, it's an additional cost. Anyway, um, what we're going to do here today is we're going to, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, I'm going to run it in the third. If you buy this loader from me or some of the other machines I have for sale, we've got a, another loader there, we've got a, a Cabelco SK290, we've got another SK210. Uh, the point is, uh, or some of these other machines, I've got a big CX470 over there. See that skid steer behind there? Oh yeah, we can see it. Skid steer, we got some trenchers, some water tankers. Anyway, point is, uh, if you buy any one of these machines from me, you're gonna be dealing with Pro Prevents, who's the guy running the camera, he's my right hand man. Uh, so the serial number of this machine is 65C4518. I'm gonna leave that last digit blank. Um, price on a new machine like this these days is between, I'd say 150 to 165,000. The hours on this particular machine are 4,533 hours. That's 4,533 hours. As far as manufacturers go, you know, uh, Kawasaki is pretty ubiquitous out there with all the heavy construction mining equipment. Um, this machine weighs 23,000 pounds. The widest point is that bucket right there. It's, at, uh, it's uh, eight foot, eight foot wide. Um, the tallest point is the top of that cabin, 10 foot, six inches. And the transportation link from the end of that counterweight to the cutting edge of that bucket when it's in transport profile is uh, 23 feet. Comparable machines are like an L50G or maybe a 90, 926K or maybe a Komatsu uh, W8. The history of this unit goes this machine like almost every machine we purchase is an original owner Dallas Texas machine I say that because this machine is essentially a rust free machine miles from the ocean and uh, we're far enough south that the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. This machine, like most of the machines we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. Say, what's the big deal of that? Well, like I say, we're 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 in a rust. This this machine, you can see where the where the rain's where the paint's been flecked off and the rainwater's gotten to it, but it in no way, shape, or form is rust pervasive. I might have already said that. This particular loader uh, came from a uh, a company that we do a lot of business with. We buy and sell back and forth. They sell to us. We buy it from them. We sell to them. They buy from us. So, uh, it should, before I buy any machine, my, I have a couple of mechanics that go out and inspect it. If they say everything's okay on the machine, then I personally go out and I inspect it. I mean, I sent Pro out to inspect it, and he, if he says everything's okay on the machine, then I personally go out and I inspect it if, uh, if everything checks out and the money's right. 
do that before I buy a check. As before I write a check, uh, as far as options go, this machine's got a uh, you know auxiliary hydraulics for a quick coupler, and the forks are over there. Again, the forks are sold separately. Um, it's an enclosed cap machine. As far as the engine goes, this engine is the uh, It's a 359 59. I think they call it a B59. B5 a B5.9C engine. It's a net horsepower of 134. It's a six cylinder. Cummins diesel, of course. I'm going to leave that open for a second, bro. Okay. Show the engine right there. All right, guys. All the good ones. Take it easy, man. Uh, this machine is also equipped with a hydraulic fan. You say, okay, what's the significance of that? Well, the significance of that is that you're able to separate the fan from the engine motor. So you can get to all, all, all corners of the, uh, of your, of your coolers. All the, all the fluid levels on this tractor are where they should be. This machine is intact and sound. No leaks on it anywhere. Everything on it works. The transmission runs through all the gears without hesitation. Brake stop it on a dime. Top speed on this loader is 23 miles an hour in forward, 23 miles an hour in reverse. Uh, this is a four-wheel drive. Inherently, most uh, wheel loaders are four-wheel drive. As you can see, these are brand new tires here. They still got the little uh, titty things on them. Brand new tires on the front, and practically brand new tires on the back. They still have little little things on them too. Anyway, these tires are probably about 95 to 100 percent. There's no cuts on them. They're 20.5 R25s. These are all four of these tires are radials. Um, as far as things wrong with this machine, you're missing a mirror right there. Maybe we'll replace those if we get a chance. Uh, you got a ding right there on the windshield. But other than that, it's a pretty good running machine. The hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in the work equipment. All the pins and the bushings are relatively tight. There's no deflection or any kind of problem in this articulation joint right here. Uh, as far as this bucket goes, again, this bucket is an eight foot wide bucket. It's 48 inches tall and it's three and a half, I'm, I'm sorry, 30, three foot five inches deep. I'd say it's about a three yard bucket. is uh, about 12 feet high. The breakout force on this loader is 21,000 pounds, 21,400 pounds. And the static tip load of this machine is 18,000 pounds. So basically the lifting capacity of this loader is limited by its static tip load, which simply stated the hydraulics on this machine are so powerful that the machine will actually, uh, we'll, we'll see if we can find something around here to demonstrate this, but the the uh, the back tires will lift off the ground before the hydraulics give out. So your lifting capacity is limited to the um, weight opposite the fulcrum on this front axle here. Again, in this case, it's uh, 18,000 pounds. We come over here to this. Uh, 
torques are five foot four inches tall. I'm sorry, the fork is four foot three inches tall. They're five foot four inches wide, and you got a five in, uh, five foot tine on it. Again, the forks are sold separately. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is the cutting edge on this. Uh, you got practically brand new tires. Not brand new tires. And then you've got a brand new cutting edge there. So um, that's about it, Pro. What, what do you got to say about this? It's a good running machine and uh, it, does, it does great. Did I miss anything? No, you didn't. Anything uh, else wrong with the machine that I didn't think of? Uh, no, nah. it needs a buyer, I guess. Yeah, it needs a home. That's it. Alrighty, we're gonna run it in the next clip. It's really cold outside right now. It's probably about 32 degrees. That's where that smoke comes from.
CX-470 excavator. It probably weighs about 6,000 pounds. It's a heavy bucket.